Praise the Lord, all you people. We bless God. It's a new month and we give God glory and honor. And this month, what are we treating? You see, as uh, a campus ministry coordinator and uh, a youth minister, many a times I meet young people and they're asking a lot of questions about the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? What is he? Is, is, is the Trinity? I mean, all kinds of things. So in this month, we are dealing with the subject of the Holy Spirit. We just want to understand a few things about the Holy Spirit as scripture says it. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that in your bountifulness of grace, you have given us this new month. We pray that you nourish our hearts by your word and help us to live for you through Jesus the Christ our Lord. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. People, it is the sixth month of the year. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. So today we're dealing with the subject, is the Holy Spirit God? Because look, a lot of people have a lot of questions about the Holy Spirit. Most believers will agree that we live in a dispensation of the Holy Spirit. After all, according to John chapter 14, verse 16 and 17, scripture says, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. So the, it is a period of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is moving us in this dispensation. However, the Holy Spirit uh, uh, exists as part of God and he exists in the pages of scripture. Let's go to scripture and see. From the Old Testament, we see in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, when creation was to be done, that the Spirit of God was already hovering over the surface of the deep. Again, in Judges chapter 14 verse uh, 6, scripture says that the Spirit of the Lord came upon something giving him strength to defeat his enemies. So you see the Holy Spirit at work, even in the Old Testament. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 13, the Spirit of God came upon David and empowered him when he became king. And so the Holy Spirit is already in scriptures, both the Old Testament and the New Testament. Oh, he abounds in the New Testament. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, scripture uh, 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 tells us of the Holy Spirit descending on Jesus Christ when he was baptized. Similarly, in Luke chapter 3, verse 22. A lot more in Acts chapter 2, where we talk about Pentecost, Pentecost, Pentecost. That is when we, re we commemorate the baptism of the Holy Spirit who descended on the uh, disciples. Now, the obvious question is, who then is the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy Spirit? Let me tell you that the Holy Spirit is not just a force, but is the presence of God who is God himself. The Holy Spirit is God's presence with us on earth. And it is through the Holy Spirit that God communicates with us and guides us. So by the power of the Holy Spirit, God speaks to us. God, uh, what you call, takes messages from us. And in the Old Testament, it's called Ruah. That is the, the essence and the power of God that is, is encountered in the breath when God breathed into man that breath that God put into man that is the spirit of God and that is what is captured in the Old Testament now look at scripture in 1st Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 through to 11 scripture says these are the things God has revealed to us by his spirit the spirit searches all things even the deep things of God for who knows a person's thought except their own spirit within them? In the same way, he, in the same way, no one knows the thought of God except the spirit of God. And so we cannot know God except the spirit of God leads us and teaches us. So what evidence do we have that the Holy Spirit is God? The Holy Spirit is God because he, sh he shares the attributes of God. We say that God is omnipotent, omnipresent, and, uh, 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 and everywhere. And so when we say that the Holy Spirit is God, the Holy Spirit is omniscient. He is all-knowing. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 through to 11. Again, the Holy Spirit is omnipresent. The Holy Spirit is everywhere. Psalm 139, verse 7 through to 10. And the Holy Spirit is eternal. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. And the Holy Spirit has all power. Luke chapter 1, verse 35. So these tell us that the Holy Spirit is God. And the Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity. 
You see, the word Trinity is actually not in the Bible, but we see the concept day in and day out interacting. In Matthew chapter 28, when God's, uh, the Great Commission is, it's baptized in the name of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And so you see the Holy Spirit already as part of the Trinity. Now, the Holy Spirit performs divine work. The Holy Spirit creates and gives life. That is divine work. It is only God who can give life. And the Holy Spirit gives life in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. And in John chapter 6 verse 63, we see that the Holy Spirit has power to give life. And you see, the Holy Spirit can raise the dead. He raises the dead in Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Scripture affirms the power of the Holy Spirit in raising the dead. Don't forget that Working of miracles is done by God. And it is the power of the Holy Spirit that works in the believer to work miracles. Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and then 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 through to 11. And you know what? A major function of the Holy Spirit is that the Holy Spirit convicts us of sin. John chapter 16 verse 8 through to 11. And so the Holy Spirit is an important part that we cannot uh, let go. The Holy Spirit is also called God. In fact, in Acts chapter 5, verse 3 to 4, the Holy Spirit is called God. And so we cannot dispute the fact that the Holy Spirit is God. The other side of the coin is that the Holy Spirit is also a person. So you see, the Holy Spirit is 100% spirit and 100% person. What shows that the Holy Spirit is a person? As a person, I have a will. And the Holy Spirit has a will that makes us uh, and make choices and division and decisions and that is the holy spirit furthermore as a person i have emotions and the holy spirit has emotions the holy spirit expresses love the holy spirit expresses joy have you forgotten the fruit of the spirit you see you eat love joy these are fruits and that these are some emotions that as persons we we, we express and the holy spirit being a person can be grieved look as i said right now if you pinch me i'll be grieved <laughs> so when the Holy Spirit can be grieved, then it shows that the Holy Spirit is a person. Then the Holy Spirit can even speak. The Holy Spirit can even speak. The Holy Spirit communicates through us. We communicate the power of the Holy Spirit. And so all these show that the Holy Spirit is God and that we cannot look on the Holy Spirit as nothing. In conclusion, what we are saying here is that clearly through scriptures, we can see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit as an agent of God. But the New and Old Testament show the presence of the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit is God. In John chapter 14 verse 6, it is affirmed the part that the Holy Spirit is both God and a person. So let us begin to trust in God. Let us begin to put ourselves in the power of the Holy Spirit because this is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that by your power you have given us this new man. And as we study about the Holy Spirit, may our life be engulfed by the power of the Holy Spirit and live for you and live by you in all circumstances. May you order our steps and may you lead us unto prosperity and goodness and good health and abundance in you in this new year. Father, may every resolutions of our heart be met in this new month, which is the sixth month of the year, that your name be glorified. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord lift his face upon you. The Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and grant you his peace now and always. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God bless you. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel and let others have the blessings of God. Live in the power of the Holy Spirit. Bye.